Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to my gaming channel Justice Gaming Games as Intended. I am in the game Star Trek Online and I am about to play the new revamped, new refresh, new updated 2409 Federation Starfleet tutorial that has been updated and revamped as of the May 2022 update called Stormfall. That is what has brought us a new revamped tutorial in Star Trek Online and I am about to see what's new about it. So let's go to Starfleet. Let's do next. Doesn't matter what kind of character I choose really. This is just to play the tutorial today. Let's see what this is all about. I will choose a rando name, a rando ship name, engage. And it is a Delta recruit event. So I do need to play through the tutorial to be able to become a Delta recruit. This is for a limited time. This will not be part of the regular tutorial when this event ends, but let's play the new tutorial now. Again, this tutorial is refreshed as of the May 2022 update called Stormfall. The volume may be a little low, I apologize. None of this is new so far. This cutscene was in the previous version of the tutorial. But what we are looking for is perhaps new cutscenes. And new character art. As well as Admiral Janeway making an appearance. That should be very interesting with a focus on the Borg. I should have probably adjusted the volume before beginning. I apologize for that. I'll turn it up when we get into the game. But if you've seen my previous tutorial playthrough on this channel, which I have a video of, you can search for it, 2409. Starfleet tutorial. Um, this cutscene was exactly the same from that. So there were no changes in that cutscene. This is the time we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly right. The time stream will work itself out. Just make sure you give yourself this. It's our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? Again, that is part of the Delta Recruit. That will not be part of the tutorial when that event ends. Nice. Nice introduction. Let me turn up the volume real quick before we begin. Let's see overall volume. Let's crank that up a little bit. So it's telling us how to move around. Of course we know that. 
One of the updates is the environment. Supposedly, um, Starfleet Academy should look a lot better, and it is, in fact, brighter. I can tell. They fixed the lighting in this map. It was kind of screwed up before, so it's nice to see that that environment has been improved, and this definitely looks better. Uh, so far, though, this seems very similar. How could I? You reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics for him. Continue. I'm going to turn up the volume just a little bit more. I apologize. All right. People you can interact with have icons over their heads. We're going to go to Rasky. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Terrell. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. So far, this all seems very familiar. Um, I can't recall if he had dialogue before or not, but it does now. Greetings. Resky said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Right. There's also supposed to be things, more things you can interact with in this new tutorial, but I haven't seen that yet. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Locate Lieutenant Farah. So this is basically just giving you an idea of how to navigate the game. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Is this where I get my training crew's assignment? Yes. I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Mm, this name. Sparhark. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. The direction of your objectives also appears on your compass. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press F to interact with a doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Come. Oh, the door didn't open all the way. That's a problem. <laughs> it's a bit laggy right now. I see myself rubber banding a little bit. Cadet. You asked to see me, sir. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores. But I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I'm not a tactical officer, sir. I concentrated on courses for my career track. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program. And I want to see good results. No exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer? Who is that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you outside. Talk to her to start the phaser training and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. Okay, yes sir. Oh, I can salute. 
I didn't salute. Well, I can't salute anymore. I guess if you walk away, you don't get to salute. Okay, oh well. No saluting for you then. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you tell oh, don't me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Okay, let's go. It seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. What a coincidence, huh? Yeah, this is brighter. It looks good, I guess. I don't see anything different so far. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. Maybe they... I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Maybe they touched up on Taggart. Tap the shift key while moving. Taggart's yes, visuals. I'm not sure. Tonight. I'm not really sure. I know that some of the NPCs got a, should have a little bit of a facelift, but I don't know which ones. Setting up the training program now. I hope holodeck two is your lucky holodeck. I need a phaser. The phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Sure thing. Locate a weapons locker. I think these hallways look different. This is brighter in here. Very bright. Used to be really dark in here. This is like bright white. Yeah, this is new. This locker kind of thing here. I like that. The pistol has been automatically equipped. They call it a pistol. It's just a phaser. Come on. Move to the center of the This is kind of similar. In combat, right click on a target to While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Did pretty good, huh? Oh, this is my future self. Um, remember, this is a Delta Recruit event right now. This will not be in the tutorial after this event ends. Uh, so this is not part of the tutorial. You wouldn't meet yourself in the tutorial when this event ends. Anyway, I'm getting my, my tes you are now Tesseract. A Recruit. You have <laughs> uh, I'm trying to say Tesseract Communicator thing. Tesseract Communications Receiver. Again, not part of the normal tutorial. And draw your weapon. Well done, cadets. You're not going to break the academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for Absolutely. me? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. What can I say? The captain sees greatness Don't in me. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Okay, let's go. Remember, your objective locations can... Let's go to the turbo lift. Graduation day. Now hear this. All cadets, report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. All right, and now we can talk to everybody or lead a toast. Inspire the cadets. 
Galvanize. Raise a glass. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Yay, I'm awesome. Everybody likes me. Okay. Talk to deck officer. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. And we're off. Ooh, we got a nice uh, shuttle there. Nice um, runabout, I should say. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Yeah, that's bigger than the uh, Ugh, they had before. And look, look at that. At that. That's nice. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. <laughs> but here's our 200 ship. Crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Miranda. Average speed, warp five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. I think the shuttle before We're was not a runabout. To arrive. We need to get to the bridge. So being on a runabout is different, I think. It's hard to remember what the previous tutorial was just like because it wasn't too long ago. And they updated that. They keep updating it, obviously, throughout the years. So it's hard to remember all the different little iterations and stuff. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Talk to the duty officers in the shuttle bay. What are they looking at? I guess they're looking at the ensign science officer. Name and position? Um, this name, acting first officer. I have your record right here. Welcome aboard. Where's the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Nice bridge. Nice and bright in here. Real bright. Let me check something real quick. I th don't know if I have the lighting 2.0 on or off. No, I do. I have lighting 2.0 on. Lighting 2.0 on. Just for the record. I know some people like to play with it off. I have it on. It's very bright in here. But not on the bridge, where it shouldn't be bright on a bridge. You really don't want a bright bridge, right? You want to be able to see all your controls easily. You want to be able to see the view screen. All these bright bridges in the new newest Star Treks are pretty crazy. Not realistic. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one... I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Okay, send the signal, close the doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Having some lag. Very good, number one. I'm right. The bridge does look pretty good, though. I mean, for Miranda. Pretty big, actually. Bigger than I thought it would be. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. May I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusters only while in the vicinity of space dock? Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. To sit, right click on a chair you would. Let's go. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Not sure if that cutscene is new or not, but it's very clean. I liked it. And this is cool, going through warp. So Captain, again... I'm picking up an automated distress call from the SS Break Even. If this is They're new, uh, if this is new, this is awesome. Assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. They are not responding to our hails. Keep trying, Trevelle. Their long-range comms might be down. Number one, let's discuss the situation. I, I do kind of recall a cutscene like that before, though. Oh no, his chair is disappeared. Expected situation number one. But such things come with the job. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of the training course? Absolutely lots of not. Lots of lag. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. 
It's a race against time if their warp core Indeed. is at risk. We also don't know what led to this situation either. It could have been an accident or the results of an attack. What do you advise? Shields up. Better safe than sorry. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Indeed. Yellow alert. Raise shields. Number one, I'd like you to oversee the rescue effort once we arrive. The... Oh, what's happening? Cutscene. I didn't mean to do that. Still there we no go. Response from the break -even, Captain. Scan them. Maybe they're unable to respond to our signal. Captain, our Borg Spear. Flores, return fire. Pattern Delta Sierra 9. Well, there go the shields. Not good. Okay, this is new. <laughs> this is new, I think. Engineering to bridge. Go ahead, engineering. Sir, the Borg are here. We need help. Great cutscene, though. I love that. Right. Number one. I want you to go to main engineering and lead the security team efforts there. Get those Borg off my ship. Yeah, like I said, this new tutorial is going to have a bit more focus on the Borg. The game music seems to be really loud during the cutscenes, though. Like extremely loud over the dialogue. I don't know if that's mm, the the volume I had it at or their issue. But anyway, Borg, that was a great cutscene. Borg Sphere jumps in, cutscene, Borg come to the engineering. It's classic Star Trek right there. That's great. Uh, take turbo lift to engineering deck. Sorry for the emergency stop number one, but there's a problem in the transporter room. The Borg are trying to take it over, most likely to prevent us from using site-to-site -site transports within the ship. Okay, what are your orders? Head to the armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security officers you find on the way. Once you're armed, I need you to go to the transporter room and secure it as soon as possible. And what about the enemy ship, sir? We're holding our own so far, number one, but our success depends on securing the ship. Do what you can to get the Borg out of critical areas. Sir, you need to unlock the armory. Ooh, plasma leak. And yeah, I like these new, uh, th these are new, where it, I mean, not this, not this arrow, but this is new, where it's like a targeting pad to, like, go here. I think that's new. We should grab rifles to fight off the board. So that's nice, you can't get lost. They're definitely telling you where to, where to go. Well, I'm not loaded, but I will be in a second. Status report number one. About to leave the armory. Very well. We're reading Borg life signs in your area. Looks like you'll have to fight your way to the transporter room. Good luck. Nice. Let's get it. Secure the hall. I'm going the wrong way. It says to go here. Oh, I see. I just got ahead of myself. That's all. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. Go here. You can do extra damage to enemies by flanking them. Try attacking your enemies on their sides or behind them. Like so? Sit on his chest. That'll help him. Thanks. You saved me from a fate worse than death. I'll get back to manning the transporters. I need to get to main engineering to repel more of the That's Borg. That's going to be a problem. We took some hard hits in the initial salvo, and there are hole breaches in the corridor. I don't think you can make it there. Can you beam me directly to engineering? We still have main power, so yes. Yes, I think I can. Get on the transporter pad and I'll beam you there.
Yeah, these hallways look different too. The doors are definitely different, bigger. This looks like uh, Jupiter. Whoa. Fortuitous, sir. Looks we like Jupiter Station. To retake main engineering. Looks like they took the art assets from Press Jupiter C Station. Crouch. Looks like they took the art assets from Jupiter Station and like brought them into the new um, this new tutorial. Press X to aim your weapon. Aiming your weapon gives a bonus to damage. Lots of lag. There's lots of people playing right now. Playing this new update, so there's a lot of lag. A lot of rubber banding. Think we got more this way? No. Oh, okay. I've got an idea. I saw this in a Starfleet history sim, so I'm pretty sure it'll work. I need you to prepare the plasma coolant for emergency release. That sounds pretty risky. Any riskier than standing around while the Borg send over more drones? I don't think so. Hurry, I do not want to be assimilated. No, thank you. Prepare the plasma coolant for emergency release, so Zarva... Well, I mean, Zarva's not new, but the voice acting, I think, is. Prepare for the coolant release. Yeah, this whole this whole area is new. This whole scene is new. This is pretty darn awesome. Not good. Not good! We need to go, now! Quick, release the plasma coolant. Roll under. Let's do it. There we go. Do the Jordy roll. Jordy roll complete. Another pounding on the glass. I love it. Oh, look at that. Look at their skeleton underneath. That was a really cool scene. Oh my gosh. They've never done that before. Dana, that was awesome. Oh, they, they took and that. This is... I have a I have a lot to say right now. I am thoroughly impressed by what they have done here. They're referencing what Data did in First Contact. They did the plasma trick. They showed their skeletons. Oh, this is so cool. I am concerned but relieved. Thank you. Plasma coolant really did a number on the Borg. You won't be coming back here anytime soon. That's good. That's very, very good. We've secured main engineering. Number one, we've got injured up here and the Borg could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Go. See to the bridge. We will secure main engineering. See, this is so Star Trek. This is what the current Star Trek stuff they've got on uh, the streaming services is missing. This is, this is awesome. Paying homage to the original. A Borg invasion as we take off on our training mission. For now, help the others back onto their feet, number one. We may have more unwanted guests before too long. This feels like Star Trek to me. Oh, I owe you. Both of you. Thanks. You have my gratitude. Nice work, number one. Oh, looks like that phase of training paid off. More Borg. They're gonna get the captain, aren't they? Captain, look out! Oh, he's assimilated. There's those nanotubules. Well, I guess we're in charge now. Captain, 
The Borg vessel has gone to warp and left the system. Why would they leave? Based on the amount of damage they sustained, it is logical to assume they disengaged in order to regenerate safely. Track the ship. If we can catch them, we may be able to rescue Taggart. Well, that puts me in charge now because I was first officer. We, we survived, but the captain, he trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. All right, take the seat in the captain's chair. It's my ship now. Engage. Alyssa Flores is now your bridge officer. And she bridge is giving me abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on a way All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Don't mind me, I'm just rearranging my hot bar here. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Keep trying, Eli uh, Eliza. What's the status of the Borg ship? I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. What about the break-even? Hail them. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. Oh, what is your status? No response, Captain. I suggest that we move closer for a short-range scan. Stay sharp. We don't know if they're a Borg on that ship. Increase your speed using... See, before, um, they had the, uh, Klingons is who attacked us. And now it's the Borg. I think that's the change. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. No life forms detected. The ship is broadcasting its distress signal via automation. I suggest that we remotely order the break even's computer to cease the distress signal. Agreed. We don't want other ships coming to a possible Borg ambush. Nice. I put together a damage report, Captain, and it's not good. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do we have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but we took too much damage in main engineering. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. Any ideas? There was a battle here recently between Starfeet and Klingon forces, and the amount of wreckage present is considerable. Despite the dangers involved, the salvage opportunities attract the crews of civilian vessels, like the break-even. I think I see where you're going Logic with this. Logic suggests that we may discover similar opportunities for salvage here. I recommend scanning the debris field. Some of the derelicts present may contain intact plasma injectors. Excellent. We can scan for parts. Boy, I'll tell you what, that music volume is so loud in my ears. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Okay. Press the space bar to fire energy weapons. Warning. Ship is under attack. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. Looting parts. These plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil converter and... Stay focused and work fast. There are still Borg out everything there. everything installed as soon as I can, Captain. Just remember, safety comes first. After all, we don't want to blow up the minute we hit warp one. Are the comms still jammed? Unfortunately so, Captain. We are still unable to send a distress signal. Any idea on what's causing there this? There are several operational Starfleet comm satellites near our position. My preliminary attempts to use them to send a distress signal were not successful. A sensor scan revealed the presence of Borg technology in each satellite, and that they are the source of the jamming signal. Nice work. Recommendations? Since time is a factor, the most expedient solution to the problem is the destruction of the assimilated satellites. 
Their elimination should allow us to send a distress signal to Starfleet Command. All right, let's make that happen. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy. Now, see, that's new because your banks to weaken shield the satellites were not assimilated in the previous version of this. So that's new. Yeah, they have really put a primary focus Use on the board on for um, this tutorial for starting us off. Not Klingons this time. Borg. Straight up. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Nice shot. Two more jamming satellites left. The Borg were involved previously, of course, with Vega, but they have more of a presence now. Straight off the uh, straight off the tutorial here, much more bigger presence. Long range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Absolutely. Nice visual. I like that. Like sending a signal. Captain, the Borg ship sustained damage in our encounter and is likely to be leaking plasma until they have an opportunity to regenerate. We might be able to use that plasma to find them. Do it. Understood. Do it. Fortunately, our Do sensors it. are sufficient to the task of following the trace plasma signature. Now enhancing the plasma trail imaging, the recolored visuals should appear on our mapping systems. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Yep, teaching us how to use full impulse. And of course, giving us a, Activate full giving us a waypoint. So that's nice. And the ship looks good too, I'll tell you, the Miranda, the visuals on it look good. Real good. Multiple Borg vessels on sensors. Warning. Ship is under attack. These probes do not appear to be shielded. Hmm. Looks like they were recently made from assimilated parts and aren't fully operational yet. We should continue to follow the plasma trail. Activate high yield torpedo. Yep. Follow the plasma trail. High yield torpedo will aim. So previously we were tracking a Klingon ship in the previous version of the tutorial and we had to take down a big Klingon Captain, ship. The now Borg have adapted. These now it's Borg. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Click on a shield that is low on power to direct power to it. Target shield have failed. Boy, being this low level, it's um pretty crazy. Ship explosions cause damage. Put some distance between yourself and exploding ships. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. Hey, it's a Chimera, USS Chimera. This is Captain Nog and it's Nog. Of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Yes, we were attacked by the Pretty Borg. Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? Oh, well, he was captured and taken by the Borg, probably assimilated. I see. And you're the acting captain. I am. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for our position. Chimera out. So yeah, we got Nog here. That's great that he's part of the tutorial. He will always be remembered. Another Borg Sphere is attacking. Borg Sphere. Warning. Ship is under attack. Cover your shield and prepare to be warned. Target shield has failed.
Ooh, nice cutscene. That's new. We're circling around. I like that. This is Admiral Janeway. Janeway. Looks like you're having a little Borg trouble. The, with the Voyager. Let's see what we can do about that. That's pretty sick. So Janeway is helping us here with Voyager. And that's OG Voyager too, it looks like. So this, this is obviously new. So, the rumors are true. The Borg have returned. We've got our work cut out for us. Cadet, where's your captain? Well, he was captured by the Borg, and uh, we're in pursuit. Assimilation isn't a fate that anyone should suffer. And I hesitate to think about what the Borg would do with a captive Starfleet captain. They must have taken him for a reason. Otherwise, they wouldn't have left without assimilating your entire crew. Well, the only way we'll find out is to rescue him. Agreed. We'll do everything we can to bring your captain home. Connect. I like that she's with us on this. She's not like saying, "No, go back to start. Go back to Earth space dock. We'll take care of this." She's like, "All right, come on, let's do this." I don't like the sound of that at all. We need to get to the Pollock system and help the Kittimer before it's too late. All right, does that, does that include us, Admiral? Indeed it does. Yes. I'll need all the help I can get with this situation. I like it. Consider She's with us. Consider this a field promotion. Captain. And I'm getting promoted. Now then, set a course to the Pollock system. Best possible speed. I like it. And I can go ahead and upgrade my stuff. That's something they probably don't... You know, they think you're probably just going to go ahead and click the button and continue, but you could stop right here and go ahead and upgrade your stuff. I mean, we might as well. If you've never played the game before, you might not know you could do that, but you can. So I've got Mark 1 Phaser Beam Array now. I've got a Mark 1 Impulse Engine. I mean, I can put this better weapon on myself, I guess. What is that, anyway? That's a phaser split beam rifle. And then I'll give Eliza Flores this one. And that's it. Now let's continue. Yeah, I love the addition of Janeway here. I like that she's not sending us back home, but she wants us to join the fight. We've arrived in the Pollock system, Captain. I have the Kittimer on sensors. She's taken heavy damage and is not responding to our hails. Your orders? Get us closer. I want to run a detailed scan. Okay, this scene is the same. It's just with different players now. So we have Janeway here with us. Whereas it was a different ship before. Different ships. Sensors indicate several critical systems are offline, Captain. Including communications. I am reading numerous life signs on board, however. Good, there's still time to save Something's everybody. Not right here. Where are the Borg ships that attack the Kittimer? Captain, I want you to scan those nearby gas clouds while we assist the crew of the Kittimer. Make sure they're not hiding any unwanted guests. Sensors are having difficulty getting clear resolution through the gaseous anomalies. We will need to move in to very close range to acquire useful information. Let's do it. Let's start over here and work our way around. You can set your ship's Oh, good. It was talking about the ship's power levels just now. I'm glad it finally brought that up because a lot of people don't know about the power levels, attack, defense, and uh, speed. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. I just always keep my ship on attack. 
because that's what I'm doing mostly. <laughs> This is Janeway. We're detecting some unusual gamma radiation levels near your position. We're having trouble getting a clear scan. I don't like the look of it. Of course, if I'm science, I can do that, but I'm not. Try recalibrating your multispatial sensor array. That should provide a better reading. Let me know what you find out there. That level of radiation could hide a lot of things, including the Borg. We'll try that. Let me see, did I get any new abilities? I do have emergency power to shields now. I didn't get uh, evasive maneuvers yet. That's what I was looking for, but nope, not there yet. Okay, where next? This one? Going, I'm flying the wrong way. No, oh, wants me to go right back where I was. Oh, this one over here. The multispatial sensor array has been recalibrated, Captain. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us. The You're board. right. Target's shields have failed. Your shields have been prepared to be boarded. All life forms will be assimilated. The Borg are attacking us as well. Use full impulse to reach us quickly. Well, I will. Activate full impulse. When I'm not taking damage. <laughs> there we go. They're just probes, though. Surely Voyager can def fend, off, fend off probes with all the updates they've had over the years. Warning. Ship is under attack. This is the emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. Hey, you may give me a situation report. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. Can you hold out on your own? We have problems of our own to deal I with. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. Now, I am engineering, so I can do this. Admiral Janeway, someone must have activated the EMH from the bridge. Hmm. If the bridge was attacked in the Borg attack, Captain Yim may have activated the EMH to alert us. I'm reading a few probes from the Kittimer in the system. Looks like they were conducting research here before the Borg attacked. I want you to collect data from those probes. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. We'll send teams to aid the Kittimer while you collect that data. One more thing. If you or your crew are unable to tackle this, speak up now. I know firsthand what fighting the Borg can do. Even to seasoned officers. I trust my crew. We'll get it I done. I click the iota point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. Good. Head for probe number two. Easily done. One last probe, and we should be able to assemble all of the data. Send us the data so we can begin our analysis. We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it now. All right, what's the status of the our Kittimer? Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? Can we use the Kittimer to help analyze the data? There's an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. 
Agreed. Can you help the Voyager analyze the data? I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Now what's cool about this dialogue is this was in like the very, very, very original version of the tutorial and they've still kept that, some of that, from that original tutorial in this, which is really cool. You used to be able to go over to the ship, like in the very, very first iteration of this tutorial, you would actually go over to the Kittimer, I guess, or the ship, and you would actually meet the emergency medical hologram in person, and he would say that line, I think. As you had a, Borg you had to fend off detected. the Borg. All hands, battle stations. They're firing. I need help. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. More board. I don't know if we're ready for this. Hold the line. We've beaten them before. We can do it again. Target shield has failed. Remember your training. Your Starfleet officers. You've got this. Yeah, we got it. Multiple board warp signatures detected. It's a good cutscene. I like this. We are the Borg. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. That's an ominous uh, screenshot. I think that's the screenshot for the video. There's no way we can warn it. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. They're leaving. Scan their trajectory. I want to know where they're going. Concentrate fire on that sphere. Four shields failing. Rear shields failing. Direct hit. You're darn right, direct hit. Hail the Voyager. All right. Here's how I see it, Captain. The Borg are using the Pollux system as a staging area. Our long-range sensors are picking up inbound transwarp signatures. Based on our analysis, their most likely target is the Vega system. There's a civilian colony there, and if the Borg take it, they'll have a large population to assimilate. Well, it's our next I course of action. I want you to go to the Vega colony and warn them about the Borg. What about you, Admiral? Voyager and Chimera are better equipped to hold off the Borg and assist the Kittimer. We'll do what we can, but it'll be up to you to warn the Vega colonists. Can you stop the Borg? It's not just a matter of can, Captain. It's a matter of must. We'll buy you as much time as we can. You should have enough time to warn the colony. I've hailed Starfleet Command and requested backup. But you and I know we can't wait for them to arrive. Vega Colony can't wait. Okay, let's go to Vega we have Colony. We'll make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Lego. Another cool cutscene. Red alert. You will become one with the Borg. Resistance is futile. Look at him go. I like that. That was a nice cutscene. So all that was new. A lot of that was Certain new. Certain missions allow you to remotely hail your contact by clicking on the hail icon along the right side of the mission tracker. You need to warn the Vega colony about the impending attack. We'll do what we can here to hold off the Borg and repair the Kittimer. Good luck. Congratulations. You are now in sector space. Air ships travel at war. Now I am really updated. 
Let's do some quick updates here and continue the tutorial. Mark two deflector. Oh, it's going to tell me how to use the map. Good. Okay. Um, mark one of that. What are you? A shield emitter amplifier? Sure, whatever. Dun, 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 dun. Everything is updated. Vega, let's go. So, we are still in the tutorial. I'm not going to stop until we get all the way to ESD and can talk to uh, everybody there. So, I'm going to continue playing the tutorial. Let's do Vega. This is still part of the tutorial, technically. And I did get a new ability. Got evasive maneuvers, finally. Is that all? Uh, that is... No, I have tachyon beam, too. Sure. Hmm. Are things going on in chat? Oh, that's a lot of fun. Let's minimize that. Vega! Good old Warp 5, how I've missed you. Assimilation of the Innocent. We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your orders, Captain? Hail the colonies, we have to warn them. Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. But in through now. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I can do for you today? Ah, uh, the Borg are on their way. Just thought I'd let you know. Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you see the Borg? Uh, yeah, they're on their way. Uh, you might want to do something about it. I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger, and... Well then, let's go. Boost signal with satellites. It's because the Borg are probably already here. Our hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your orders, sir. Can we trans? Uh, can we get transporter locks on the colonists? Uh, the Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the gain, though. Okay. Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. The Borg. Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them. Target shield have failed. Okay, defeated the Borg invasion, consult with crew. Captain, I have short range communications. Long range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Chimera, sir. 
We're the only Starfleet vessel in the system. We'll rescue as many colonists as we can, or we make our stand here. Look for any more Borg landing parties. Continuing invasion. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. I believe I can send a message to those ships. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target Civilian ships, you failed. are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. It's a planetary assimilation probe. Check that out. Roger that, Starfleet. Full ships, full back. All civilian ships have safely warped out of the system, Captain. Target shields have failed. All right, beam down to Vega Colony. Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. Let's do it. Choose your away team for your next mission. Yeah, well, it doesn't let you choose on the tutorial, because it's all you have right now. Now comes Captain, the ground according portion. According to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. All right, we will manually tag survivors. Any questions? No, sir. I'll follow your lead. That's one of those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. That's pretty scary and pretty efficient. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Oh man, I'm getting a rubber banding. Hello, refugees. Please save us! The Borg are everywhere! Thank you. I don't want to be a civilian. Civilians? Leave the gate closed! We have to get out of here! Starfleet's here. Oh, thank Yay, God. Please, Amy. You have to help us. Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. All right, let's get our armor. Press the U. This is your character. You can also view your equipment. Thank you. Are these the same? They are the same. Okay. No kit modules right now. Open gate. Oh, oh, rubber band. Eating lots of rubber bands. Oh no. We're too late. Oh, she's a Borg. <laughs> I was waiting to beam. I thought it was a colonist. I was like, why aren't you beaming up? No, it's a Borg. Oh, I, <laughs> I beam. I hit the button to beam them up, and they all fell over on the ground. That's the opposite that I want to happen. Man, that is just so cool looking. It really is. That is neat. Did they just beam away? Psh, scaredy cats. I saved you.
Well, they're back. Uh, these Borg are weird. I can't target this one. There's definitely some bugginess. Even though they just revamped this tutorial. I mean, look, here's a Borg standing here and I can't do anything with you. Why are you there? Stay back! Get away from me! Uh, can I not save these people? I can. It's just so laggy. There's so much it's laggy that it's, it's finally over. taking a while to get things done to notice that I hit the button. Again, this Borg, why are you just standing there? <sighs> Tutorials being weird. Games being weird. Buggy. Buggy, laggy. Get the hell out of here. We have the civilians. There is still no sign of Chimera or Voyager, sir. Are you the administrator? I apologize for Coles putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him. Oh, whoa. She teleported. She's a witch. I apologize for Coles putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him, the Borg would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? We're the only ones here. The diamond is in orbit. I see. Then it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. We can rescue them, but something's blocking our transporters. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. That can't be everyone. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings. But Coles and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But yes. first, I'd Let's like to it. offer you some equipment. Vega is, was a trade colony, and this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. I will take it. You have received a kit appropriate. Let's see what I got. Um, mines. Sure. Okay, let's put. You now have additional abilities in ground combat. Uh, I'll just put you there. Mm, there we go. I think that's everything. Calibrate pattern enhancers. We have lowered shields for the transporters, sir. I will need to raise them at the first sign. The pattern enhancers are working, and not a moment too soon. I can hear the Borg moving this way. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the Borg? As long as we need to. Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. It's a good thing these Borg are going down easy. Okay, answer hail from the ship. Shields are back up, sir, but more board vessels are warping to our location. We have detected a type of generator near your position. There is 
a 94.6% chance it is the device affecting our transporters. If you can destroy it, we will transport as many people from the area as we are able. Okay. Thank you for everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. I'm not finished yet. I do anything I can. I was born on Vega. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting them poor take it without a fight. All right, Coles, you're gonna see friends who've been assimilated. Don't. I know the drill. Just never expected any Borg here. Let's go. I knew that one. We played poker last night. Of course you did. Whoa, that, that, was a, Captain that was a heck of a zoom in. It's like zoop. The Borg are activating the transport inhibitor. We need to disable that force field. Yeah, so they assimilated Taggart and we needed to get that force field down. The Borg are so, what's the word? Effective? Systematic? Evil. Collective. I'm going to go with evil. I'm going to go with collective. They are collectible. Yes, the Borg, the Borg are collectible. Collect them all. Too bad for Taggart. We need to help Captain Taggart. Oh, we can help him, huh? Well, we can beam him to sick bay. Okay, maybe we can save him. Yeah, I like that. I love the classic assimilation. Emergency medical transport. None of this weird Picard ass assimilation stuff. This is this is true assimilation. Borg assimilation. The ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain, but we don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as possible. Let's go. So we save Taggart. Well, I think we'll save him. I don't know. Hopefully. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Can we reconfigure the satellites in the system to send a, a warning? Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Let's do it then. That's the thing to do. Multiple probes inbound. I don't think the Borg like us hanging around. Is under attack. Target shield has failed. Well, that was a heck of a lag. Second beacon. I 
I think most of that down on Vega was the same as previous tutorials. I didn't see anything new there. Except Taggart, and there was a cutscene there with Taggart. That <laughs> Never was thought I'd wish I was back at the Academy studying for the Astrometrics final. The visuals on Taggart were real good. The assimilated Taggart. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. Target shields have failed. several fast-moving ships on sensors. No way to contact them, and I can't tell if they're friend or foe. Okay, Borg Cube, holy crap, I ran right into that. Oh, man. It's our time to go out in the blaze of Target glory. Shields have failed. Yeesh. That was a really cool scene, though. All hands. This is Admiral Janeway. Target that cube and open fire. I love it. They're coming to our rescue. Okay, we can't move, but that's fine. <laughs> You've done well. Now let's finish this. I'd love to, but I'm got a tractor beam on me. Want to get out of the way before this thing explodes on me. The explosion would have definitely killed me. <laughs> Sorry about the delay. Dealing with the Borg and Pollux took longer than I'd have liked. As you can see, Starfleet got our request for backup. More ships are on the way. All right, there's no way we could defeat a cube by ourselves. Oh, you'd be surprised, Captain. Mirandas are a lot tougher than you think. That ship helped you save a lot of lives here today. Treat her well, and she'll do a lot more for you and your crew. See, I like that. Treat her well. I want you to return to Earth space dock. Admiral Quinn. Admiral Quinn. Meet me in his office after you arrive. And that's new, is we get to meet Janeway. We need to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. Yeah, this, this training mission is over. <laughs> wow. I'll see you back at Earth Space Dock, Captain. One more thing. Try not to pick any more fights with the Borg before you get there. Uh -huh, I think that's nice. had enough excitement for now. So, way out. we could if we wanted to. We could do like a deep space encounter or something. And like try to fight the Borg. No, I think not. I don't have transwarp. Can I? I don't have transwarp. I can't do anything. Ugh, this is slow. Warp 5. Oh my gosh, it's going to take me forever to get there. And I can't transwarp and I can't do anything. I'm on the slow road to Earth Space Dock. Oh man. Well, then let's, while I'm waiting to get to Earth Space Dock, which is obviously going to take a very long time, let's talk a little bit about the tutorial then. What I've experienced here. I like the changes that they made. I can tell that they have put a focus on the Borg uh, 100%, whereas it, the Borg was in the previous tutorial, but there were also Klingons. It was like you got to do both. But with this one, it's just all Borg. You start off immediately fighting the Borg. They capture the captain, and then you follow them, and then you go to Vega and do that thing. And you end up 
beaming the captain back, so maybe we do get to save Taggart in the end. But yeah, having that focus on the Borg definitely gives the tutorial a single focus, a singularity focus, instead of being multiple focused. Although the introduction in the previous tutorial to the Klingon was good because at the beginning of the game, in the Federation storyline, it is the Klingons you're fighting, not the Borg. You start off lightly. I mean, they lead you into the Borg later on, but it's the Klingons you're mostly facing off against in the first part of the game uh, right after the tutorial. So I, I, I had always thought the Klingons were a great introduction in the tutorial to the game because that's very Star Trek, right? That's like the first enemy, the first aliens you're going to come across would be the Klingons. So to me, that always felt just logical that it would be the Klingons you encounter first in the game if you've never played the game before. But I guess they decided to make uh, the Borg a big focus of that instead, and that's okay. Um, but I did kind of like the dual duality they had before where you did the Klingon thing, and then you also went to Vega and did the Borg thing. You did both things. So you had two different things to fight, and you saw how two different types of enemies fight in the game, whereas now you just see how one type of enemy fights when you start the game. But at least the storyline is singular. So I don't know. But I do love the new cutscenes, and they are very slick looking, and there's some epic shots there. Um, and it looks really cool. Uh, and I, so I like that. I did see some polish up, I guess, on the characters. They look better. The NPCs look a little better. Uh, the Miranda is looking excellent. I mean, a great ship to start off with in the game. It's the perfect starter ship. And it looks great. Uh, so that's about what I have to say for the tutorial right now. I do love the inclusion of Janeway. That's fitting because we're dealing with the Borg now. And I also love that Nog is in it. So here's Earth Space Dock for the first time. It's going to show us how to get to Quinn's office, basically. Like a fly through to Quinn's office. And Jane waves right beside him too. And we got a, a temporal agent to talk to because this again is the Delta recruit event as well. In addition to right now, oh my gosh, I'm eating rubber bands for breakfast. I'll go ahead and talk real quick to um, Philip Greetings. Gray. How can I an encounter that's mm, protocol. Let's get that over, well, that's over not with. There we go. You can also open the UI by clicking on this window. So again, that's not part of the normal tutorial. Okay, let's talk to Janeway first, I guess. Ah, there you are. It's good to see you in person. I've already filed my report with the Admiral. He's waiting for yours now. Admiral, what's going to happen to the USS Diamond and her crew? You've showed exemplary performance under duress. You saved a lot of people, including Captain Taggart. You stood tall against the Borg in combat. That's a lot to face as a cadet on a training cruise, but you handled it all very well. I've said as much in my report. That's good to know. Now, more than ever, Starfleet needs its best and brightest officers out there to defend the Federation and uphold the ideals that make it strong. Officers like you. I can't speak for the Admiral, but I believe you and your crew have a bright future ahead. Thank you, Admiral. That means Don't a lot. Don't mention it. For now, duty calls. You have a report to give, and I'll be meeting with the Admiralty to discuss plans for the Vegas situation. Take care. Thank you, Admiral. It's been an honor to serve with you. So it is good to have the voice actress here, Kate Mulgrew, in the game uh, for um, Janeway. That's a nice addition to the game. I do appreciate that. 
We have a lot to discuss, Cadet. Yes, I see that here in the report filed by Admiral Janeway. She granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Taggart, his acting first officer, correct? Mm -hmm. Facing off against a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy? You've had quite a day. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. Yeah, well, all <laughs> <That's> of that. <laughs> quite the story. It the sure story. is. I have statements here from Admiral Janeway, Captain Nog, and Administrator Post from Vega Colony corroborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way to preserve the lives of others. Mm-hmm. I'm a Starfleet officer, sir. And you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. Yep. Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. See, this is the first indication in the tutorial that we, that currently, when you start the game, the uh, they're, they're at war with the Klingon Empire. You don't learn that in the new tutorial, but in the old tutorial, you kind of got that idea. But here, you don't learn it until you speak to um, Quinn now. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the ship. Don't disappoint me. Um. Uh, yeah, okay. I you accept. Will be assigned to the Klingon front. But first, you could use some new equipment for your ship. I have some improved consoles developed by the Starfleet Corps of Engineers. These consoles can be installed on your ship to improve its abilities. As you improve in rank, you will earn better consoles. Other ships you will command throughout your career will have space for many more. When you're done here, go see Durr's racks to customize your starship's appearance. So there we go. Alright, Battlefield Commission. So we are officially in the game now. And he tells us we're going to start by, you know, taking on the Klingon front. Which again, in the original tutorial, you got that idea straight away from the tutorial but in this one you don't kind of learn that until we talk to Quinn so there's a little bit of a difference there on you know what your expectations are at the beginning of the game you may think oh we're gonna jump right into the Borg stuff but no that actually comes a lot later in the storyline you need to get through the Klingon war the Romulan mystery the Cardassian struggle and then you get to some Borg stuff so it's quite a bit into the game before you get to that so uh, overall, those are the changes in the tutorial for 2022, May of 2022, in the Stormfall update. This is now the new 2409 Federation tutorial. It has a primary focus on the Borg. Uh, Vega Colony seemed about the same, but what takes place before that, um, many of the things have changed. There are new cutscenes, and now we have Janeway and Voyager helping you uh, in those battles that are in space and otherwise the flow of it is pretty much the same and the idea of the tutorial is pretty much the same and then at the very beginning when you're at the Academy and having to go through all that that seems to be pretty much the same so basically there just seems to be a a primary focus a a tunneling a cutting down of some of the Klingon stuff that was in there previously and just making it Borg only instead. And that seems to be what the main change is for the tutorial, plus some new cutscenes which were really, really nice. Uh, otherwise, there was a lot of, um, there were a couple of bugs that I saw and a lot of banding and lagging right now, but that is because this patch just came out yesterday and the game is literally uh, being flooded by a lot of players that are doing all of this as well at the same time and it's just having some problems right now uh, hopefully over time that will get smoothed out 
So there you go. That's the new tutorial. And I hope everybody enjoyed that. If you like what you see here, consider giving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel for more Star Trek Online content. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.